been good at, but so good to see the Italian athletics nation in such good form. Well, the 800 metres for men, we've just seen a great race in the women's event, won by young Keely Hodgkinson of Great Britain, who is going to come out on top here. Uh, interesting field. I think most men in this might think they have a, a chance, including, of course, the Olympic champion, Emmanuel Career. All of the talent, all of the ability we've known he's had for so many years came to the fore. Uh, in an opposite way, in a sense, Ferguson Rotich, who's been there and thereabouts for so long, a great silver medal for him behind his teammate Career. Arop, the front running Canadian, didn't get out of the semi final. The semi finals were so tough in. Tokyo, but since then, a big win in Lausanne and in Eugene. Elliot Giles started the season with records indoors. So disappointed not to make the final in Tokyo. Clayton Murphy, similarly, after his medal in 2016, couldn't repeat that this time round. The Commonwealth champion, Wycliffe Kinyamal, running a brilliant 143.9 to win in Paris post Tokyo and then Isaiah Harris who won in Gateshead one of the last diamond leagues before we all headed off to the Olympic Games so all of these men here including Tuka who we saw being introduced on the outside with a pacemaker in lane 8 know how to win diamond league races as well as major championship medals pick your favorite who's got the legs at this time of the season to win this how fast will they go they've been given the chance to chase a 49.5 for Siradsky he's been asked to go that quick I'm not sure uh, he needs to go that quick but uh, we'll set this up nicely if they follow him men's 800 so Tuka is sharing the lane with the pacemaker career just inside him starting quickly Harris right on the inside Arab might just uh, fight to get near the front as well let's see how they settle as they break after the first hundred meters across comes the pacemaker Harris is gonna find them all coming across Kinyamal on his shoulder as well Arab just giving a little bit of an elbow to the Olympic champion but lets him slip round the outside so career slots in behind the pacemaker and a decent first 200 nothing too silly and Arab as you'd expect looks as though he's interested in getting up there as well well Steve I really like what I've seen from Marco Arop the Canadian so far this year I know he didn't uh, make the final in Tokyo but he's running fast in every race at the moment and if you're going to beat him you need to run fast and that is a quick 400 time 49.61 now they're quite a long way down I would say best part of a second so let's call it 50.5 at 400 for this pack 51.1 on the uh, computer for the pack that's still reasonably swift because these guys can run quick off that but Arab's hanging he's waiting the pacemaker just gets out of the way the Olympic champion with everybody on his shoulder there goes Rotich on the outside that uh, familiar forward leaning action he's the first to break career tries to respond holds off Arab but it's Rotich with just a half a meter lead career the two of them charge down the home straight of the Olympic Games Arrow wasn't involved on that occasion, but he is here. Kinyamal on the inside. These two are away in career with that head going and the arms flailing, picking up his knees, and the Olympic champion comes away. He takes the Diamond League title, 144-56. Great running from him. Rotich behind him. It may have been Murphy who got through for third place. Very tight. Giles wasn't too far away in that battle as well. Winning time one, 44 56. Do you know what I love about career? It, it's a bit messy at times, and when he really has to dig deep, it's all over the place. But that's what he does, Tim. He digs deep and he finds enough in the home straight. Give me a mount. Looks absolutely shattered. Yeah, Murphy did get third in the end, just ahead of the others. Yeah, Murphy finishing really strongly, but career reminds me of Paula Radcliffe when she was under pressure. The head would be bobbing away, and people used to say, oh, what awful style, but actually, Paula from the neck downwards was a very good looking mover and uh, uh, Correa may be here much the same the head rocking from side to side almost to give himself a little bit more momentum almost galloping but he does cover the ground well and frankly at the, the end of the day who cares how you cover the ground if you're going to win races 
144.56. He wins by four tenths of a second from Rotic. It was uh, a strange old race, wasn't it? Because 51-1 is not lightning quick, but it's not desperately slow at 400. I think that back straight 200 was a little bit slow. Uh, the third 200, and they, I think uh, Arop was perhaps guilty of allowing others to take the initiative. He should have attacked with 250 and gone into the final bend in the lead himself. But... You go into that final bend with two or three metres down and athletes who are accelerating, it's very hard to get them back. Yeah, he, uh, he looked as though he'd maybe just been caught out by Rotic, but you're right, he was close enough and responded quickly before he got covered by the others. He was on the inside. And then once we got them on straight, it was really just between those two. Well done, the Olympic champion, now the Diamond League champion as well.